what I wanted to do is I wanted to validate your workstation a little bit. Essentially, it really all ends up going into this, you know, is this posture or are we having a more upright posture? Is the head forward or is the head really backwards? Are we holding our, our hand up and tight but we holding it up or are we resting it somewhere? Are we dangling our feet? and putting pressure on all these structures, are we putting them on something? And so I go a little bit through biomechanics, and it's also online in the, in the, in the activity that I have there. Um, one thing that I found is, is very remarkable always to understand is how much heavy air the head gets as we angle it downward. I literally, literally had a patient in my office once, and I have a video on it on my website. He came in, he could not lay face up. He could not lay face down. He thought, he's gotta go to the emergency room. I got him up and said, I think you gotta go. Now let me try one thing. And I took my tapper that I tapped bones around a little bit, and I didn't tap where he had that nice stabbing pain. Literally, he felt a knife in there. But I tapped around it, and within five minutes, he was okay. And then, this is the funny part, then he took his phone, sat on the bench, looked all the way down and said, what are you doing? He says, I'm saving battery. So he had that damn phone on all the way dark, so he saved his battery, and he's going in this position, messing his whole thing up, and being in that position, probably partly because of that. I said, no, you need a selfish stick. You have to screen up here and the tapping down. Or something. I don't know. But that, that sort of, I had to show him that and made him understand that it might not be a good idea. And, and this is the... This is, this is, if you know this, you know more than many, 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 many therapists. When we sit like that over time, the muscles in the back here, these back here with the shoulder blade, they get wimpy and stretched out. And also the ones here in the front of the neck, they get wimpy and stretched out. And the ones here in the back, they gotta hold up that head all heavy because it's now 60 pounds and it's a lot of work. They get all hyper tight. And then obviously also when we sit like that, the front muscles here in the chest also get tight. So they call this the cross. You got one of the top part of the body and one of the lower part. All right, so um, the top part is that, and that's a really the big kahuna because when I, when I, I, I mean, and, and, and I should know better, right? So I have a frozen shoulder. It's better, because finally I'm not going to the Kaiser therapy, which I only ran a little bit. Because it didn't really do anything. But the one thing she said is like, hey, contract your shoulder blade. You got, you know, that's the kahuna back there. And I'm like, oh, I should know that. So, you know, you need, even after 30 years of doing this, I need exposure on myself. So I'm teaching myself this stuff. But even simply that alone is like, oh, yeah, my head is straighter. Oh, my blood, I mean, try doing it. My blood fl flows easier. I have a whole set of articles in my house that I, or in practice, that are from a, originated from a guy in Boston, a surgeon who saw a head crooked there laying there in surgery and said, like, wow, no blood's going to the head. And he had him open. He was doing surgery. He saw the blood flowing or not flowing. It's like, hmm. So he started thinking and researching and doing it. Like, his, his especially this. This side posture, not this little head up and down and shoulder up and down. Some of that is small stuff, right? But this this posture and this posture became extremely important in like quality of thinking, etc., etc., and the whole life thing. So since we are unfortunately sitting a lot, that's just the way life is. We got to talk a little bit about this. We have a similar thing down here in the back. Look at. In the low back, we have a normal curve that we should have that would be kind of helpful. And when you say helpful, I don't just say, oh, it's cosmetically good posture. No, no, the bones are designed to be relaxed in that position in this gravity environment that pulls us down the whole time. And so good posture means we don't have to always use all those muscles to hold us up against this gravity thing. I know, why this damn gravity? Well, if we wouldn't have the gravity, we wouldn't be alive because if you think of how much is happening in this brain, a majority of what's happening is happening because we have to walk. But balance and not fall down and all this coordination kind of weird stuff. That's why I look at the robots. How difficult it is for a robot to walk on two legs? That's one they have not cracked that well yet. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but 
not when I last checked. But that's why we need a good posture, because we'll never worry about being robots. We might as well have to use what we have. And so when we sit in a slouchy or regular sit, we're going to flatten that thing out. And so on the bottom, we often get wimpy muscles in the stomach, and we often get, um, this is the front, the stomach, this is the back. So you get wimpy stomach, a flat butt, wimpy glutes, and then we get tight flexes in here that are hypertight because we're sitting the whole time. And that's when, you know, when you get out of the car, if you've been driving a car a long time, you get out going, oh my God, I gotta stretch out the front, you need to stretch out. That's the hip flexors, the psoas, that gives you a sore ass. Yeah, it does. It does. I, every time I see it. And you know what? Once I say that, I might get in trouble. But if I get in trouble, for that, I'm really in trouble. Um, 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 because you then remember it. And you stretch out. When you do stretch out, you stretch out like a launch. You take the back foot a little inward, and you feel a stretch here in the front. And that's how you do those. So those get often tight. So if you sit a lot, it's very good to do that stretch. And we also get the uh, low back extensors get excessively tied back in here. They also cramp up and get tied to sort of try to hold this thing together as it's not round and natural. And so that's sort of the biomechanics. And so that's the group posture. So then we can evaluate our posture.